Hi, my name is Robert Chestnut, and I've lost 200 pounds in the last two years. I'm coming up to my goal weight of losing 250 pounds. I'm 41 years old, I'm from Hadley, Massachusetts, and I'm here to inspire someone else to do what I've done, or to try. My message is simple. There's nothing to buy, there's nothing to rent, there's nothing to subscribe to. You don't need to buy some pre-processed meal in order to lose weight. All you need is what's inside here, your heart and your mind. I was there, watching television, watching people do things that I could only long to do, that I only aspired to do, and I thought I would be fat forever. I thought that there was no hope. And I'd almost given up on life. You can't give up. It's all with inside you. You can do it. I did it. I never thought I'd be able to do it. How did I do it? I'll tell you. In America, we are told that certain things are healthy. For example, eating grains. Healthy. Not healthy. If you want to be fat, and you want to put on pounds, and you want to put on weight, Eat a lot of grains, eat a lot of bread, eat a lot of sugar, and salt. Takeout food, restaurant food, corporate America greed food is what I call it. Gateway foods. Wake up in the morning and have a cereal, a breakfast cereal, which is supposed to be healthy, and pour sugary milk on top of it. Then, wash it down with a big glass of orange juice, because that's pure sugar too. By 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you're hungry again. And not just hungry... You need more of that drug, that gluten drug. So you have a sandwich, and if you go to Subway, you're having a loaf of bread with some vegetables inside of it. Now, I'm not saying never eat bread. You can eventually have some, but you need to break yourself from this cycle. The Atkins diet kind of works. But you need to modify it. You need to have some root vegetables like sweet potatoes. And potatoes, just not fried. Don't eat anything fried. Don't eat anything made of flour or wheat. Except for seitan, which is uh, a wheat protein. Just omit bread. Don't buy bread. And don't eat ice cream. Don't eat candy, don't eat cake. I mean, all of this stuff is kind of like common sense, right? But it's hard to do. And I know it's hard to do because I had to do I didn't have to do it. I chose to do it. Eating out, you have to really be picky about what you eat out. I have the three S rules. Sushi, soup, and salad. Because out of those three things, really you can't find much that's not healthy. Unless, of course, you get, you know, like you know, lobster bisque or something. Um... And it doesn't happen overnight. You didn't put the weight on overnight. It's not going to come off overnight. But you are going to save yourself the minute you start to not diet. Change your life. It's not a lifestyle change. What is it? Like, what's the style? Preppy versus goth? I mean, no. It's not a lifestyle change. It's a life change. It's a life moment that you pivot on and... You decide that you want your weather vane to point in a different direction. I quit smoking six years ago. I never thought I could do that. It's amazing what you can do when you set your brain to it. Listen to music, something inspiring. Surround yourself with positive people, people that won't bring you down. When you start self-loathing and self-hating, and ignoring the big problem underneath everything. Because all of these things like weight gain, food addiction, food obsession, they're all symptoms of something else. My symptoms was abuse. I was abused as a child, and I, I put it underneath all my feelings and all my emotions and in the recesses of my brain and ignored it. And it conjured up all this self-hatred and loathing and it made me not care anymore if I lived or died. This world, this life, 
it is really precious and we're only here for a short short time it's not how many people show up at your funeral whether you were a success in life or not it's not how many toys you end up with before you die it's not how much money or land it's how you played your game how you played the hand that you were dealt I am so proud of myself that I have found love for myself and found the positivity that I needed to. So many people don't find that in life. And basically, if you watch the movie The Matrix, they're stuck in The Matrix. You need to get out of it and wake up. As long as you have the faith that you're worth it, you'll succeed. Exercise. You have to exercise every day. Start with five minutes. When I started, I could only walk on the treadmill for a minute, minute and a half. And I was going one mile an hour. Now I walk almost two miles an hour. I can't walk. I can't run because uh, of a heart condition I have. My heart was enlarged when I was so big. And I, I have um, AFib now. But it's under control with medication. But I really need to watch how I exercise. Anyway, I started with five minutes. I worked up to 10 minutes in the second week. I worked up to 15 minutes. I was doing 15 minutes. To me, that was huge. Huge within two weeks. I'm up to anywhere from an hour to two hours a day now. And there's not a day that I miss. If I do, it's because I'm flat on my back sick. And that's rare. Very rare. And once you start doing it, like once you start not eating bread and not eating um, grains, you get in, you, you, you enjoy it. You enjoy the feeling it gives you. It's empowering. You begin to, not, and I'm not saying starve yourself because you can't do that. Losing weight is about eating. It's not about not eating. And America is really lying to you about what's healthy. There's nothing healthy about grains. Breakfast cereals not healthy. And what do you do, what do they suggest rather that you do after you eat your cereal with cow's milk? They want you to drink a large glass of orange juice. All sugar. It all turns to sugar. I mean the juice is sugar, but the cereal turns to sugar. The milk just makes you fat. Nothing healthy about that. And by 10 o'clock, 10.30, you're hungry again and you want the same kind of carbs, the, these processed carbs uh, for your body protein I wake up in the morning and I eat a chicken breast I'll wake up in the morning and have turkey I'll have fish I'll have um, what else will I have eggs I mean hard boiled or poached and for lunch get interesting don't be food obsessed be obsessed with the right kinds of food I should say vegetables you can do some great stuff with vegetables Japanese eggplant you can uh, make uh, tomatoes uh, into a stir fry with, uh, you know, vet, um, uh, olive oil and, I, I mean, pick any, I mean, parsnips are great. Sweet potatoes, I mean, just anything that's not processed, not fried, and not grain. And try to stay away from dairy, except for Greek yogurt, which is very good for you, and low-fat cottage cheese. Um, some cheese on occasion is okay, but Basically, you're going for the caveman diet. The proteins, vegetables, fruits. And on occasion, you can um, slide in there like a slice of organic, healthy, thin crust pizza or something. But you've got to get your mind off of these other foods. And you have to get your mind on the idea that this is a life change. I want to live longer. And not just live longer, because we don't have any control of how long we live. But we have a control of the quality of how, how, when we're here and how we're going to feel. As long as we're healthy and as long as we're lucky enough to be healthy. I've watched both my parents die. I've watched friends die. I've watched people in the emergency room die. No one wants to die. But as long as we're here, alive, make it count. So, if you want to lose weight, it's with inside you. You don't need to buy anything. You don't need to subscribe to anything. You don't need to sprinkle some stuff on your food. 
you don't need to subscribe to someone famous telling you, this is how I lost 50 pounds. Really? Weren't you just paid like, you know, $500,000 to say that? So I'm being paid nothing and I've lost, I'm six pounds shy or four pounds shy of 200 pounds. I'm going to lose 50 more. I'm certainly not thin yet by any means. I'm so much better off and so much healthier. And I'm just so happy. I really was empowered tonight and I really wanted to, 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 to tell other people how I lost weight and hopefully inspire someone. I've already inspired friends of mine on Facebook to lose weight and there's one guy that calls me his coach. And you know how flattering that is to be able to have that kind of uh, effect on someone and to know that what you're doing is infectious. I, 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 I went on Mr. Powell's site tonight and I, I sent him a message of, of my weight loss and hopefully he hears it. I'm sure that lots of people have gotten on this train because it's it, what, what really, really makes me happy is when I am driving around town and I see a fat man on a bicycle or I see a fat woman walking down the street. They're trying. They're doing it. And that's all you need to do is try. Because everyone, anyone can lose weight. It's kind of like saying, sitting down in art class and saying, I can't draw. Yes, of course you can draw. You may not draw very well, but you can draw. I can't sing. Well, you may sing out of tune, but at least you can sing. I'm so happy that I made it this far. And I'm going to try my damnedest to stick around a little longer if anyone wants to email me my email address is oh god it's it's so impossible to say over the phone or on, on, a, on a camera C is in Charlie E is in Edward S is in Sam T is in Tom W-H-U-T as in Tom at AOL.com it reads out say what if you say it sort of French like but it's a plan words. So if you ever want to talk to me about losing weight or you want some advice on what's worked for me, I'm not an expert, but I know it works for me. My name's Robert. I'd be here for anyone at any time. Um, you can also check out my YouTube videos. I sing. I love go-go music and I love 80s music. And that's just something I do for fun. And hopefully it's... It's a pipe dream, but I, I, I would love to be able to make music for the rest of my life. So whatever life that is, I'm going to keep trying to find ways to inspire people to do the right thing, lose weight, and enjoy their life. Because I've been there. I've been where you are. If you're watching this video, that means you're there. And you're looking for a way to change or the inspiration to change. Just remember it's inside you. And whatever it takes, just try to eat the right thing and, and move. I can't stress that enough. And if you have health questions, ask your doctor. Because I've had a multitude of health problems due to the weight, diabetes and um, uh, appendicitis and um, enlarged heart, fatty liver, you know, things like that when you so big. The other thing is, when you think of 200 pounds, a friend of mine calculated it for me. Think of, you know those big, heavy 64, I mean, how many ounces are they, or gallons of water when you put them on the, the you know, like a pull and spring water bubbler, water cooler, those big bottles of water. I lost five of those. Five. Try carrying one and then imagine five. If it, whether it's, you know, 200 pounds, 50 pounds, or 20 pounds, you're worth it, and it'll happen. Thanks for listening, and um, remember, email me if you have any questions or want to ask me anything, and, and keep track of what you eat, keep track of how much you exercise, and any effort is better than none. And get to the root of the problem. 
that's what's bothering you. This is just a symptom. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Hopefully, I'll keep making blogs. All right. Good night.